let's see if we could fix this cake that I made. <laughs> um, it was too hot and I flipped it and I attempted to flip it on the other side and hence why it broke. So I'm going to go through the process again of showing you how I made the cake. The original footages are lost. So these are the things that I have recorded on my phone and I'm still annoyed about that. Welcome to my first voiceover. I am sure not. So as usual, when you're baking cake, you have to have all your ingredients. That's what I tend to do for my sanity. I mix all my dry ingredients and then I get, I got my lemons ready, my eggs were at room temperature and all ingredients were at room temperature. I am here mixing, as you can see, that's, those are the dry ingredients. Now, um, just look and learn because this is not a tutorial. This is me just showing part of it because as I said, I lost most of the footage. I used to bake when I was younger, but it was not something that was encouraged, you know, by those who were supposed to encourage me, let us just say. And I stopped baking. And then when my son came to live with me, I restarted baking because um, I want to celebrate his birthdays and I want him to have the cake and to do whatever he wants. So I restarted baking and I realized that I actually have a knack for it. So this is me mixing the, the dry ingredients with the wet, yeah, to make a form a batter. And you would not see the batter form. You wouldn't see me adding the blueberries. By the way, it's a lemon blueberry cake. I then made a lemon curd. You can find that recipe online, super easy, very tasty to complement the flavor of the cake. Now, this is me mixing the buttercream. And I never knew this until I started learning baking and being patient that the secret so to get your buttercream white like this, what I have learned is that you have to cancel out the yellowness from the butter with just a little bit of purple and you beat that mother chuck until she's smooth like that. 15 to 20 minutes. I added the lemon curd. I made sure my cake was level and I put the border around and I added the lemon curd. And this you see here is how it looks after I would have um, I'd, I'd put the other cake on top of it. I'm just showing you. And I'm so proud of my progress. Let me tell you, when I started decorating cakes, because that's one of my biggest fear, I wanted to be perfect. My hands used to be so messy. And this is what you call a crumb coat. I think I have to, I did put her in the fridge. I'm not sure. And I'm showing my clean hands. Put her in the fridge to get hard. And then I am able to ice the cake. To note, I baked the cake a day before I had to ice it because you need the cake to be completely cold. It works better with the buttercream. And now you're going to see where I added the buttercream and you're going to see this is the blue that I was working with. I'm very sorry because I lost most of the footage and this is the final result. Yay. Now I'm going to attempt to show you some of the cakes that I would have done from the very first cake I decorated. So this is the last cake I would have done and I hope you could see my improvement from my piping skills to my leveling skills. This was the first cake I did for Kyle for his birthday. And this was the second cake much better than the first one i think talk to me talk to me look at improvement in piping scale this was an earlier decoration as well you can see the piping scale wasn't that as good and now this is what i'm very proud of my coworker had asked me and she believed so much in me she was like you can do it so i'm showing you the front and the back and i also had done some cupcakes for her and these are the cupcakes not the best but a work in progress yes and upcoming you're going to see my very first cheesecake and it looks like a weird like a nucleus or something it, because it was cracked i didn't want to put it to the crack and with this cake you're seeing i attempted to make whipped cream and it wasn't perfect so i just put the chocolates inside oh yes and this is my first heart shaped cake that was a struggle and this cake was huge. It wasn't level, but the piping skills are immaculate. And this was a cake I did recently. Beautiful, if I must say myself. 